If you're a woman and you're dealing with a man in jail, leave his ass. Cause he's using you. It's time for love after lock up, baby. Although we come to the end of the road, still I can let you go. It's so natural. And I can't sing the rest of the lyrics because it does not apply to this. In any case, goodbye. This is the last couple, Quaylen and Chevelle. Yeah, we've come to the end of the road and I definitely can't let you go because this couple as well has really given us a lot of stress. A lot, a lot, a lot, a lot of stress. A lot of stress. I can't even speak. Anyway, um, disrespecting mamas, uh, forcing baby girl to say somebody's their daddy when he's not. <laughs> okay, not forcing, but yo. It's been a lot. It's been a lot. Taking a guy back even after, yeah, after just showing a ring and not really proving himself in any which way. Rushing into a relationship, snatching somebody out of prison after him being in there for 12 good years while he was developing as a man, developing into a man. And then rushing into a relationship just like that, just because you wanted to. Finding a person in prison in general to be your boyfriend slash fiance. The more you're looking at this, it is it, this is just looks like married at first sight. How many of those couples make it? These are weird circumstances to meet people, okay? They make for great television, but this is not natural and it's not normal. In any case, let's see what these people get into, shall we? If you're a woman and you're dealing with a man in jail, leave his ass. Because he's using you. That part. That is, that, that, wow. That, wow. Wow, that's that's what everybody should look at. This doesn't work. It doesn't seem to be working for any of these couples. It does not work. There's too much drama involved even before it does work. It's just a lot. Because it's different with some of the people who they were already together and then the person went into prison, which I think happened to Sarah and Michael. And other than that, I can't really think of anybody else. I think only Sarah and Michael had that story. But Andrea and Lamar, Lindsay and Scott, Brittany and Marcelino, uh, Shonda and Tyrese, who they didn't show, sadly enough. Um, all these people, Destiny and Sean, um, Amber and Vincent. Now, the Amber and Poppy thing is very interesting. That's different. That's like love that was brewing from prison and they just brought that out into the, the real world. But even that didn't work. Um, who else do we have? I don't know. I must have forgotten one, I think. But yeah, all these people went to this pen pal prison websites and found the person. It's only Sarah and Michael that I think they were together beforehand and then they went in there. And maybe that's why she's out here being crazy for this guy because she knows him from before his prison days and they share a long history with each other, as I said, nine years. But all the other people, it's not working. So uh, what do you call it? Chevelle gave us some great advice. Don't deal with them. They probably are using you. It's to stay afloat whilst they are in prison and to help them reach a stable level once they're outside of prison. It's a lose-lose situation for the other person. Those text messages, man, frivolous flirtations. Frivolous flirtations? Or rendezvous. Not troll rendezvous. That's not right. What books have you been reading in prison quite long? Hmm. These are some uh, big, big words. Okay, let's get into it. Boy, man, this girl in a secret love affair. This is crazy, man. He's been reading. A, he was reading a lot of love novels. I could tell. I could tell. You ain't slick, Quaylen. You ain't gangster, Quaylen. He was reading them novels, them romantic novels. Mm -hmm. That's it. When I've been nothing but like that. Well, one thing I'll say, Kansas City is not doing wonders for this guy's hair, okay? When he was in Texas, when he was in Houston, ooh, the hair was twisted, it was juicy, but now, not so much. Why can't he just get a barber, whatever, work over here? I don't know, but he was he's unemployed as he's here in Kansas City. In any case, it gets so heated, let's get into it, let me stop rambling. <laughs> Okay, so he asked her where is she going and I don't know why She decided to go outside and take this outside because it's not like Maela is in the bed sleeping at some point I was like Why are you guys out of the house? Maela is still in there. Nope. 
Myla actually was went with grandma, remember? So Myla is gone. So why don't you just stay in the house? It's much better if all this is confined to the walls of your house. Nope. They take it outside with all these bright lights and all this production and all these other people and they're outside and they're screaming. You can already guess what's about to happen, right? It, it's normal what's about to happen. It's inevitable. Everybody, it's the nighttime, it's dark as heck. Everybody's winding down, sleeping, chilling, doing whatever. And you guys are gonna show these people some black mess. Y'all decide to show your black selves and yeah, just tick off all the boxes of all the stereotypes. Great job with the black community. Thank you for making us look ridiculous. Been there when nobody else was there. Yeah, right. It's just so typical. Why are they doing this? <sighs> Show that you have some class. Stay in your house. Deal with stuff in your house. Nobody cares. Nobody needs to hear all this mess. But anyway, Chevelle is just heartbroken and just screaming the entire time. So. Corporate. He had money. He had clothes, nice drawers, everything. Everything you got on. Everything you got on, I bought for you. Whose fault is that? Why did you do that? Why didn't you let him earn those things? Why didn't you let him, you know, get a job, be able to pay for these things, you know? Himself. You allowed it. Then it's like you didn't buy crap. And then I'm seeing somebody in the doorway. It's kind of creepy, actually. In the doorway. Now, I don't think that's her house because at this point they've walked quite a bit from her house. So, yeah, somebody's standing there just watching the show. And, um,. Yeah, this, this is not, mm -mm. I don't know if I still have eyeshadow on, but whatever. Anyway. <laughs> this is f***ed up! He cheated on me with multiple pictures in his inbox! Yeah, but is that, uh, what were they saying in the inbox? Now I'm really curious to see. Well, okay, none of my business, but I'm curious to know what was in those, in those messages that got her so riled up and so upset. Cause if you didn't go there and do nothing, you just say, yo, stop talking to these chicks. He was here for 12 years. He wants to see if the grass is green on the other side. He wants to see if he's got that mojo jojo. He wants to see if he's got that swag. -o. He wants to, that's why y'all shouldn't have jumped into a relationship straight out of prison anyway, because he was immature. He went in as a 17 year old. He came out as a 17 year old. He still needs to mature and become a real person in the real world. Ready to go, yeah, move it. Oh, wait a second, is that a truck? That's the truck. So does he have two cars? That's his truck. The $5,000 truck? So you're not embarrassed to now be pulling up in that truck? I'm so confused. Can I go? No. I'm ready to go. Nope. Give me my phone. Give me my phone, play when you do. This is very childish. Don't take people's possession. And like, even if you guys are gonna split or whatever, there's no point in keeping her phone. This is where things go out of hand. You do not touch people's stuff. They do not like that stuff. That's not your phone. It's not. Oh, hell. Give me my phone back, Waylon. Yes, you do. Childish. I'm about to walk away my phone when I pay the f***. I pay all my f***. Don't you f***ing help me. I'm not even struggling. No, that's not. <laughs> that's exactly what I was thinking. Waylon, it's like, that's your fault. Mm -hmm. You're out here struggling. Remember what I asked the last time? I said, is my last college phone stuck up? Is it? And that somebody should put that on a t-shirt because for real, for real. Um, is her college fund stocked up? People will be out here paying things for dudes, paying things for women like Sean. And it's like, you got all these kids. In this case, she has one kid. What's her college fund looking like? And you're spending all this money on this guy. He basically had a ready to go for life uh, package. That's what D-Mark said. I don't remember how he phrased it, but he said it very funny. It was like, basically, you know, you've given him the tools to leave you. You've given him a car. You've given him this. You've given him that. You know, he can just take all that stuff and just go and live life. So, yeah, that is your fault. There's nobody to blame but yourself. Why did you do those things? Well, you didn't even really know the guy. Sometimes it is so good listening to family. She should have listened to D-Mark. She should have listened to her mom. He should have listened to his mom his sisters, who you will never be able to gel with because they don't like you. They're definitely not going to like you after watching this because I know all of them are watching. Oh, yeah. God bless your soul. Karma is a bitch because guess what? You use me. You use me. I'm a no 
you and nobody you used me this is painful i don't know how people can rekindle from that if somebody calls you a nobody somebody you're supposed to be in love with calls you a nobody run oh oh let's do it oh let's do it you oh let's do it oh let's do it oh let's do it Ooh. she he just said girl stop faking it took me six months to say what's up what does he mean with that what does he mean by that did it take him six months after no because he straight out of prison she was there so i don't know what that means let me know in the comments if you know what that particular statement means because i think it's very weird but something tells me she pushed the matter of them being together because he wasn't all the way into it that six months i don't really know what he's talking about but she must have pushed him into this that's what he's talking about also she did say that they didn't do the tantantana for two weeks they hadn't done the tantantana for two weeks so he was growing distant and i think she she was definitely way more in love with him than she he was with her um but she wanted that she was yearning for that and he didn't want to give her that so yeah, she did say that last time. So this this has been brewing. This has been a brewing, and now he has her. He does have her phone. So that's why I'm saying it's childish. If you have the phone, just give it to her. He did have her phone, and now he's gonna do this with it. Where's it at? There you go. Well, there you go. Is that your phone? you're gonna pay for that. You can go home, man. Why do you say you can go home now? I'm hearing so many things that I don't understand. I thought this was her home. So now the cops have turned up. The cops have to. I'm not even surprised. This is the thing. I'm, I'm not even bothered. I'm not even surprised. Because, yes, you guys took this outside. Somebody's gonna call the cops on you. I wouldn't even be surprised if the producers called the cops on you. And there's some bias that I'm gonna get into in a second that's so weird when it comes to these producers. But yeah, let's get into this weird stuff. I don't know what Chevelle was on. But you don't, you do not do this. You have to talk to me. Get out of the car, please. Now, he done told you once. Why are you still in the car? Oh, She's just there. She's just there. Oh, open your door. You have to talk to me. Stop. Open the window. You have to talk to, uh, you know, she just needs to get out of the car. She doesn't need to talk to him. She's ignoring him. Why is she ignoring a whole policeman? You are in America. You're a black woman. What are you trying to do? What are you trying to get into right now? You think because there's cameras, they're just gonna let you act like a spoiled brat, not answering a whole police officer? You think <laughs> these people don't care? Uh, we saw a whole guy lose his life last year in June in front of a camera. They didn't care. They do not care. You better come correct. <laughs> and you're starting the engine for real, for real, Chevelle. Where are you going? Come on. You did not think you were gonna be able to just skedazzle out of there. I know that's not what you were thinking. This is this is ridiculous. And the police doesn't look so forceful either. And here's the producer talking to one of the cops and she's like, do not drive. <sighs> the fact that they even have to tell, I don't know what she's on. It's that 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 form of rage where you're not even, you're, you don't even care if you lose your life. She's just enraged, she's enraged. She doesn't care at this point. She's not thinking about Mayela, nothing. She, everything is blocked. Yeah. It's scary. Anywhere. Open your door. Now she's talking through the, the window. We cannot hear you. Like, what is this? Can I talk to her for a second? Yeah. Okay. Can I talk to her for a second? I think she's gonna roll down the thing when it's only the producer or whoever that is. Nope. She literally just opened this, the door. Couldn't the police officer have done that? Is this a real police officer? This is weird to me. I've never seen them this mellow. I'm okay. Unfortunately, that's not something we can ignore right now. Seriously? So him smashing the phone is enough for the police to come? Okay. The noise, I can understand. That's annoying. That's disrespectful to the entire neighborhood. That's very disrespectful and unnecessary. And people will be scared. Like, what's about to pop off right now? But him smashing the phone on the ground, why that's being mentioned right now, I don't know. Uh, that should not be the cause for these police people to be here. That's not a serious. It's bad and he should have to pay for that. But that's, why are you guys here? You guys are really here because of the phone. 
Because they're like, that's not something we can ignore right now. No, what you cannot ignore is that these two people are screaming at the top of their lungs in the middle of the street in the middle of the night. That's what you people, you guys should be here because of a domestic dispute that may go get out of hand. But you're making it about the phone. And that's the thing you can't ignore. This is fishy to me. He didn't even do nothing. Yeah. Ah, chronicles and tales of a black woman in America. Of course. She's gonna protect him. She's gonna pretend there's nothing going on. You know, he didn't even do anything, even though the cameras are rolling. He didn't do nothing, nothing. I didn't see uh, did you see something? I didn't see anything. Oh no, he was just standing there. Oh no, he wasn't doing anything. No, no. He wasn't screaming at me. He was as quiet as a mouse. He wasn't doing anything. Don't worry about it. He wasn't doing anything. He never did anything. The phone smashed the account. I don't know how the phone smashed. In fact, I don't know. In fact, I don't know if that's my phone. You can do whatever you want with it. I don't, I don't know. I, I, I don't know. I don't know anything. Nothing's happening. Nothing's happening over here. Nothing here to see. Keep it on. Keep on moving on. Keep on moving on. Nothing here to see. Goodbye. That is what she will talk and do whatever she has to do to make sure that guy does not go to jail. Because she knows that if she tells him, the police officer, the truth, that Quayle will definitely go to jail. This is stuff that people have to do in America because, um, yeah. Well, you know. You know. No, it doesn't matter. It does matter. No, it does not matter. This is my fault. It does matter. No, it doesn't. I She's saying it doesn't matter. Y'all better get out of there. Y'all better get out of there. I know plenty of times where people have said, oh, uh, there's a domestic blah, 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 and they get to the house, and the person's like, no, I'm fine. No, I'm really fine. I, I, well, no, I'm really fine. And you can tell that it's so fake. And then the police officer is like, no, okay. girl, she says she's fine. We got on the body cam. I guess uh, she's smiling and she's saying it's fine, so let's go. These are the things, you guys. These are the things. So yeah, leave her alone. If she says it's fine, it's fine. It's a phone. It's not her that was smashed down to the ground. They're acting like he WWE her to the ground like that phone. Yeah. Ma'am. No. Well, we need to all get out of the car and get this thing okay. out. So that way we, oh, we can establish that and then we go to jail. Because right now, uh, we can arrest this guy for smashing your phone. No, I We can arrest this guy for smashing your phone. Is that really a thing? Wow. I get arrested. Then the Kansas City Police requested production stop filming, which is understandable. Again, that's why I say these camera people, that's not what's gonna protect you. And then when they were satisfied that Chevelle was safe and would not press charges, they did not arrest Quaylon. This is a waste of their time. They should just go and deal with the real cookery and thievery and horrible stuff that's going on. Um, sad but true, stuff is always going on. You guys should not be spending time on a grown man who thought it was good to play hide and seek uh, what with what uh, che Chevelle's phone is concerned. Yeah, you guys should go and do bigger and better things because this ain't it. Been a hurt and it's been a bunch of faking. What is the faking? Who has been faking? He said this before. You're fake. This is all fake. What's fake? And what is what took him six months to do? I'm so confused with this whole thing. Work and it wasn't authentic. It wasn't authentic. How and why? Chanel, don't I want him to tell the truth to the world. Yeah, he's doing the confession and she's like, uh-uh. Also, that those lights are bright. Oh, wow. They are bright. Uh, that's why somebody called the cops on them. Because bright lights all of a sudden in the middle of the night, it's just too much commotion. And you chose to take that outside, so it's on you. But this was a great wake-up call for Quaylon. Don't get in no mess over a woman or trying to be petty and take her phone and all the rest of it because, hey, for you, what's you, what you're concerned, uh, when it concerns you, you can go straight back to prison. And you've already been in for 12 years. So if you re-offend, they'll put you in for longer, probably. Break up, break up with me in front of the world. You stupid as no. Wow. He said you're nobody. He said you're stupid. You should never be with this guy. He doesn't respect you. Stupid. And then the women who always cry, cry, ugly cry, like a hysterical cry. Forget ugly cry. We've reached a new level. We've reached hysterical crying. The one where spit can come from your mouth, the one where snot can come and you just pew, just shoot it off into the air. The one where you do not care and you're 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 almost not yourself. That's what she's going through. And he's just there in his insulting mode. He's just there like, I don't care. 
she's hurting she's crying it, you can tell that it's hurting her to the core he doesn't care he's gonna put one shot after another shot after another shot he's gonna make sure that whatever he says it paints her deep inside her soul that is really hurting her how dare you it's a shame the way you're messing up with my heart i don't know if that's the lyrics of the song but it's a shame anyway come on man i'm playing with me man this is a rap it's been a rap it's a oh, what the f did you say Why are you still following me? That's a good question. You're gonna hear my rap. Oh yeah, this goes on for a minute. This goes on for a hot minute. She's just like a, a wild woman in the streets, following him, standing so close to him. And you know, he's she's he, all up in his business, all up in her his personal space. And this is something that sometimes women do. Kind of like you can't hit me anyway, so I'm gonna be literally all up in your face like this and kind of antagonize the guy. And when he he does lash out or try and push you to the side or try and move you out of the way oh my god you touched me women stop doing this don't make yourself look crazy definitely not on international television this footage is going to be out there forever zone do it zone do it now it is not justified if the guy does decide to lash out but people need to learn how to communicate if you go back and think about the fact but all this came about because she got a text message, a simple text message. When you yourself, Quaylon, you were doing the same thing. She's now saying with multiple people in the DMs. We saw the shy, shy town girl, but he's, she said it's multiple people. So you have done this too. All you need to do is say, uh, baby girl, this is not right. I know I did it, but we spoke about it. I showed my remorse. That doesn't mean you have to go around and do it too. Oh no. Oh, definitely not. But you wanted him here. You could have stayed in Houston. Why did you come here? You stupid for not communicating me. And then when I talk about I've been messing with Jay. How dare you not communicate you? Tell the I did. Okay. Yeah. They have a camera crew here. They have a camera crew there. <laughs> they have somebody in the car over there who's probably like, what the heck is going on here? Um. Yeah, this is wild. This is just this is just too much. Did you take the keys to your house? I don't know. With that tight, 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 tight dress that there's no place to put a key. I don't know. Who is still at the house? Is somebody there? Ugh. Some of the production people. I don't know. I don't know at this point. This is a lot. Why chase a man like this down the street and be all up in his face? For what? And uh, this bag that he has, he sure does have a bag ready to just skedazzle. What's in that bag? Is that like an overnight bag? How does he have that bag ready so quick? Where did that bag even come from all of a sudden? <sighs> I don't know. Women don't do this. I made you. I made you. Are there certain things that we haven't seen? Because this I made you comment is just weird to me. What has he done for her? All he gave her was a ring and a lot of headache. What? what? <laughs> So that is when I thought things were a bit weird because then she's not hitting him or anything. She's kind of pushing him around, which she should not do. But then the producer screams at the top of her lungs, you may not put your hands on him. Meanwhile, we've seen Lacey hit John. We've seen, is it Maria hit Michael, something like that allegedly. I don't remember how that went down in front of that hotel where the hotel manager wanted to call the cops. Um, or and uh, wanting to hit uh, Sarah, possibly Lacey and Scott. Something's gone down there too. We've seen Christiana and her sister. She's hit her. We've seen so many people hit people, and all of a sudden here is like, you may not put your hands on me. Him. They've been seeing that this hitting business has been happening a lot, so they're like, uh, uh, not on my watch, not on my watch. So yeah, maybe that's why. I don't know. They're tired of seeing all these hitting things. They're thinking maybe somebody might sue them or whatever. I don't know if that's possible, but whatever. They've allowed a lot of hitting to go on this season and it's not okay at all. Not to mention, I don't know if any of you watch Catfish, the show, the TV, the MTV show, but Neve once threw a person's phone into a river or whatever that was. He literally was so enraged that this person was, I don't know, not telling the truth or whatever. He was so enraged that he just took the person's phone this was the person who was doing the catfishing, I believe, and he threw it into the water. 
and production was not too happy but ain't nobody screaming at the top of their lungs so yeah we've seen a lot of these things go down and sometimes they let it happen for entertainment purposes and they let it happen so that you know the ratings go up and everybody's like ooh, lots of ratchet goes on in this show but yeah this was the first time literally the first time even Quaylan and Demar got into it, right? This is the first time I really saw a producer scream at the top of their lungs like this. Maybe they cut it out. I don't know. But I wish I would see more of that because that means then you don't condone it. What we've been seeing is just nothing happening and then it almost seems like that's okay, right? Like they kind of condone this stuff all for ratings. In any case, I just thought that was fishy and a bit biased because we sure have seen a lot of hitting in this season. And his wife is reading his law, so... It's either a blessing or a lesson. Jabelle, man, she came in my life when I needed a bag. God sent her for me. Yeah, God sent her for you, but then who who was there for her? I think that's so kind of selfish to think that way. Like, oh, everything happens for a reason. So this woman had to suffer for me to elevate and become okay in life. And you know, I make mistakes so up, but I just so happen to catch her being sneaky and I called her on you got dudes texting it. Dudes, is it not just Jay? Damn, man. It hurts knowing that your woman went out with another dude. It's only so much somebody can take. I'm tired of man. That's fine. If you're tired, then you guys should exit out of this toxic relationship. You should both be tired by now. All this back and forth, and we all know it's not going to lead anywhere. Just get out of this relationship. Hey, this relationship all I can get. That's all I can do, man. Is keep trying to be there for my youth. I'm happy. Well, he sure does love that kid. That's for sure. So I built that bond up with him. She called me daddy without even me pressing the issue. That in itself was a lot. It just was a lot for who? It, it just was a lot for this guy to come straight out of prison and then just be a dad. But the strange thing about it is he loved every bit of it, right? Which is when I was like, Chevelle has really found an incredible person to want to take Maella on as his own child, even though he doesn't have to. He's come out of prison. You should be able to be free and smell the roses and everything like that. But here's the thing. If Quaylon really didn't want this relationship, he wouldn't have had this relationship. He wouldn't have been in this relationship if he didn't want it. That's just the truth of the matter, right? So he himself also made that choice. Nope, I'm grown now and I'm going to live this family life and I'm going to play house. So you can't even fault Chevelle too much. Yeah, she probably put that pressure on and yeah, that's your daddy and this and that. And that. She put that all on and she, you know, she laid that on there thick. Which probably makes uh, Quaylon feel good, like he has a purpose in his life, like he has a family, he has a child, and stuff like that. Even though he didn't try hard to find a job to provide for that child. Only that connection that the mom had for him in Texas, right? In the barber shop. But other than that, in Kansas City, we don't know. And it must be very hard finding a job as an ex-inmate, so we're not going to fault him for that. But yeah, he did well with the Maela thing. But if that's your only reason for staying, there's no point because you love my airline and you hate the mom. <laughs> Saying that she's a nobody and that you made her and a whole bunch of things and that it's been fake and a whole bunch of things that should just end the relationship. There's certain words and there's certain things that you say. Words have power. There's power in the tongue. That is so true. There's power in the tongue. Whatever you say, people will remember. Whatever you say, people will remember. So be careful because he said some very hurtful things and a lot of women would not ever want to speak to him again, will not ever be around him again. And wouldn't let their daughter be around him either. But uh, not Chevelle over here. Because I love my you know, I'm still gonna be there for if I'm allowed to. I'm just gonna have to fall back. It's been real, man. It's been real. Deuces. I ain't gotta go home because I ain't got one now, but I got He's always so lazy days ago about everything. I ain't gotta go home because I ain't got one now. That's that's terrible. <laughs> Some of the boy, so. Like, I loved him more than he loved me. If you're a woman and you're dealing with a man in jail, leave his ass. We need to hear that so many more times. That needs to be printed on a t-shirt too. Because that is that, that right there is a life lesson for this whole season. And actually this whole show, I don't think it's conducive for a good relationship. We've only seen toxic things, but we've learned a lot from it. Because he's using you. Yep. If you're a woman and you're dealing with a man in jail, uh -huh. leave his ass. Yep. Because he's using you. Mm -hmm. I gave Quayla her all. Every inch. And it's not worth it no more. Like, I'm not happy. Like, I wasn't happy. We never really had a relationship because he was always gone. 
Yeah, because he was living between here and there. There was a time that she even said she would she was gonna move to Texas. That would have been terrible because then you don't know anybody there. This year you have D Mark, you have your mom, you know, Maela will have her little friends or school or whatever. You know, it's more secure here for you. I'm so glad she did not do that. That would have been terrible. Ah, this is what happens when you live in different places and the family is not even in it and all these things are signs you guys people be praying for god to give them signs but what they actually want is for god to you know remold the the package that's already there no that's your package so if you don't want it distance yourself from it because these are the signs that god is trying to give you and it's loud and clear it's so red the red flags are like this bet you even see them in your dreams or whether you can call them dreams or nightmares but you decide to proceed. You ignored God. That's what you've been doing. Like, this is so f***ed up on all levels what this man has done to me. And I, God, like, you know much karma? But, but, God is gonna deal with that f He is gonna deal with him for the way he done me. And there is no return. There isn't no return or is there let's look at the updates Chevelle and Quaylon have started speaking again <laughs> these people drive me crazy Quaylon lives in Houston and keeps in touch with my Elon. so how is that gonna work if he's in Houston and you are here if they started speaking again hopefully as kind of like friends um, at this point, I'm kind of also hoping he resells that truck and gives her back that 5000 Because if this woman is really struggling like that, that's just not fair. He needs to go to that barbershop, make his own living, and yeah, within a few months, he'll be able to buy his own truck. Like, that's, that's the using part. You know, you don't like the woman, you split so painfully, but you, you keep all the stuff. You, you say you made her, but we don't know in what way. Um... Does anybody know in what way? What is he talking about? Imagine doing all this for a guy and then he just turns around and come and talk nonsense and rubbish. Ah. It's um... Hey, as Quaylon said, it's been real, but it's a wrap. Whew, I am, I'm actually glad. <laughs> it's a wrap for all this love after lockup. Thank you guys so much for rocking with me. All your amazing comments if you reach this part of the f of this video just mm, comment comment a blue heart emoji blue one because of love after lock up in the theme is all blue but yeah don't know if we'll see these people again I don't know if the storyline is really that much more interesting hey this chick said there's no return so I think that's that's gonna be it for these people we've learned a lot we've gone through all the things that we've learned has it been a pleasure meeting these people no i like the sassiness of maela though the kids is what makes it really interesting for me but the grown-ups are acting acting wild and they don't realize that the kids are watching and seeing everything even when you think they're not they're seeing it and if they didn't see it then they'll see it one day because all this is recorded so yeah mm, i think these people would be best apart this woman has wasted what five years of her two and a half years or so she she waited for him while he was in prison I don't know why and how people think that that works when there's the real life out here the energy you're putting into finding a pen pal why not just go on all these other dating apps and find people in in the actual world and start life quicker the dealing with somebody in prison you're just waiting for them to get out you're waiting for them to get out and it's like you're prolonging your search for finding love i don't know why people do this but it sure does make for great television anyway it's been real <laughs> i don't know why i just did that it's been real it has been real and i hope you enjoyed my reviews of love slash life after lockup if a new season pops up i'm gonna be here you already know what it is but tell your friends about me because uh yeah that would be cool and um i don't only do love after lockup videos or life after lockup videos i have an array of videos i'm talking hundreds of different topics life related stuff it's on and popping. I have multiple playlists. So go and check them out. And yeah, leave me a comment and a like there too. In any case, if you're not already part of the family, make sure you hit thumbs up as on to that subscribe button. Comment because I really want to know what you think. Like because you always like this video and hit the 
notification bell while chatting. I'll see you in the next video, which will be tomorrow. Daily videos up in here. And like I said, not only love and life after long. In the meantime, make time for glorious life. It's time to start what? Living it right. God bless.